3 to the power square root a plus square root a is equal to 30 a is equal to what how to solve this question it is interesting math okay let's start first of all we are let square root a it will be x so we are let here is square root a it will be x so at this moment i can say this equation becomes it will be 3 to the power we know that square root a it will be x so it will be x plus and square root a it will be x is equal to 30 yes now at this moment i can say it will be 3 to the power x is equal to 30 minus x i just move on this x in right side it will be negative x okay now at this moment i divide both side 3 to the power x yes is equal to 30 minus x over 3 to the power x i divide both side 3 to the power x now i can say this equation becomes it will be 1 is equal to 30 minus x times i can say it will be 3 to the power minus x according to exponential rules we know that 1 over a to the power n i mean 1 over a to the power n it will be a to the power minus n according to this source i can say 1 over 3 to the power x it will be 3 to the power minus x yes now i multiply both side 3 to the power 30 yes because of that here is 30 here is 3 so i can say easily 1 times 3 to the power 30 is equal to 30 minus x times 3 to the power minus x times 3 to the power 30 i multiply both sides 3 to the power 30 then i can say this equation becomes it will be 3 to the power 30 is equal to 30 minus x times and it will be 3 to the power look base is same i just add this exponent it will be 30 minus x according to exponential rules look at this moment we find out here is 30 minus x and 3 to the power 30 minus x so at this moment if i you if i want to use lambert w function so i can say that uh, we know that e to the power ln a is equal to a according to these rules i can say that, uh, here is 3 to the power 30 is equal to 30 minus x times and e to the power ln 3 to the power 30 minus x look e to the power ln a it will be a so according to these rules i can say this is equal to this okay now here is 3 to the power 30 and in this case i can say it will be 30 minus x times e to the power look this exponent is moving in front according to logarithm rules i can say it will be 30 minus x times ln 3 yes so at this moment if i use 1 to lambert w function so here is ln 3 here is 30 minus x but here is 30 minus x here is no ln 3 so i multiply both sides again ln 3 so at this moment uh, i multiply both sides ln 3 so here is ln 3 times 3 to the power 30 i multiply both sides ln 3 and here is 30 minus x times ln 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times ln 3 i multiply both side ln 3 this ln 3 and this ln 3 so we are find out in this side it will be 3 to the power 30 times ln 3 is equal to here is 30 minus x times ln 3 and here is e to the power 30 minus x and here is ln 3 now i use both set lambert w function so i know that the lambert w function w 3 to the power 30 ln 3 is equal to w 30 minus x and here is 
ln 3 e to the power 30 minus x times ln 3 yes now i can say easily here is lambert w function according to lambert w function we know that 30 w a e to the power a it will be a so i can say easily here is 30 minus x times ln 3 is equal to and in this case it will be lambert w function 3 to the power 30 times ln 3 yes now at this moment i can say really here is look 30 minus x look 30 minus x times ln 3 ln 3 is equal to I can say easily here is Lambert W function it will be 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 27 and here is ln 3 yes now at this moment I can say easily here is look 30 minus x ln 3 30 minus x and here is ln 3 is equal to Lambert W function 3 to the power 3 it will be 27 and here is ln 3 and here is 3 to the power 27 now again I use 1 to Lambert W function in this case so 30 minus x times ln 3 is equal to Lambert W function 27 ln 3 and we know that it is the power ln 3 to the power 27 we know that it is the power ln a is equal to a so now in this case I can say 30 minus x times ln 3 is equal to here is Lambert W function 27 ln 3 times uh, e to the power I we know that this exponent is move on in front it will be 27 ln 3 yes now at this moment we have find out here is 30 minus x times ln 3 is equal to we know that here is Lambert W function a e to the power a it will be a so I can see easily it will be 27 ln 3 yes now ln 3 ln 3 is cancel we are find out here is 30 minus x is equal to 27 so I can say this equation becomes 30 minus 27 is equal to x so we are find out here is x is equal to 3 we are find out x is equal to 3 but our question 3 to the power square root a plus square root a is equal to 30 remember that recall we are let square root a is equal to x so square root a is equal to x it will be 3 then if I use both side whole square we are find out a is equal to 9 this is our final answer let's check out square root uh, 9 it will be 3 3 to the power 3 it will be 27 27 plus 3 9 3 so it will be 30 so I can say a is equal to 9 this is our right answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care